Spinal cord injuries and brain trauma can be life-altering, but a new state-of-the-art rehabilitation hospital in Utah is giving people hope. Yeah, new specialist Heather Simonson shows us how it's making a big difference for a Utah man and his mother. He's in the Air Force. When he needed her, he just loves with me. Nothing could keep single mom Dori Sugihara. They did body work and they um, actually painted the whole car. Away from her son, not miles. Being 5,000 miles away, it's, it's never easy. Or a pandemic. We got to actually touch him. Yeah, not, you know, we got to see him through FaceTime, but still not the same. She's hoping his treatment at the new Craig H. Nielsen Rehabilitation Hospital will give him back his life. Olin swung into shallow water oh, at Pine doing? View Reservoir July 1st, yeah. hitting the bottom head first. Everything down was paralyzed, and uh, I couldn't move anything. I thought I was going to drown, but all I had was hope. And uh, that hope got me to shore. The 75-bed hospital is one of the most advanced in the nation, with the world's longest zero-G track. Olin can safely practice walking again. Hey, Mac. Put the blinds up. And in his room, there's smart, hands-free technology. The voice, the touch, even with like said, sip and puff, they can sip a straw and control their blinds. And they can also control it from the bed speaker as well. And a special kitchen teaches what's possible for life after the hospital. Simple things that can be put into any household cabinet. Uh, so a rack that comes down makes things easy to get to. Welcome to our... Downstairs, a garage filled with adaptive sporting equipment demonstrates possibilities. There's a suspension shock here, so it can kind of help absorb any shocks, bumps, or big drops. Really, you know, this acts as a, how a stand-up skier's knees work. Giving Olin and his mother optimism. Being a mom and not being able to fix your child, it's heart-wrenching, you know? It's, it's hard. I'm hoping that he will walk and get everything back. I was losing motivation and hope and I just wanted to give up, but uh, I regained that when I came here. Because not much can come between them. Best friend, yeah. In the wake of a devastating injury, an unbreakable there. bond. Yeah. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Olin is making great progress on his road to recovery. Check this out. This is video of him when he was released from the hospital today. And you can see he was able to walk out on his own without any assistance. Happy day. Love to yeah. see that. Great story.